Hey guys! So excited to see everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for our online video recorded lesson. Um, what I'm going to be doing for you guys today is I'm going to read a story and then you are going to do a writing prompt. Um, so let's go ahead and get started and jump in. This story is called Living in a Troop of Chimps. A young male chimpanzee lives with his mother in a troop of 40 chimps in the rainforest of Africa, north of the Congo River. He wakes up with the sunrise early in the morning from a nest he has built near his mother. He swings across the branches and hoots to his mother, who has a new baby clinging to her underside. She grunts back at him and starts to groom him by moving his hair and picking out the debris or insects with her hands or mouth. He sits calmly while she works and feels the morning sun on his back. Soon it is time to go foraging. Other chimps in the troop are moving about and going off in separate directions. He follows his mother through the canopy. She seems to know exactly where she is going. She finds the tree that she is looking for. It has young leaves and tender buds to feast upon. After a while, his mother climbs down to the ground to find a termite mound. The young male is super excited. Termites are delicious. He makes a noise of excitement. Ah! His mother is looking around the ground just for the right tool to use. She finds a thick stick and she uses it to make the hole bigger in the mound. Then she takes a stem and pulls the leaves off. She pokes the stick into the mound and comes up with a bunch of termites on the stick. She licks them off and offers the next stick she brings up to her son. The young male looks for a stick of his own and pokes it in to the mound. He comes up with two termites, licks them, and tries again. The mother looks over and gives a soft grunt. The young male smacks his lips. Two females and their young come into the clearing. They have a higher standing in the troop. His mother is a lone female, younger and new to the troop. They start to rush at the mother and the young male. She moves back to the canopy to eat more leaves. The young chips follow them, and they make a sound like, Ooh. The mother and the son know that they are just curious. The young male plays chase with them through the treetops. Meanwhile, the females have followed his mother into the tree to see what else she has found to eat. The two females approach through the trees. They start flapping their arms and screaming and showing their teeth. The lone female is worried to leave without her son, but she has no choice, and she, re she retreats to the safe distance. Her son stops in his games when he hears the screams and moves carefully backwards towards the sound. He sees the two females eating the buds and he looks around and his mother's nowhere to be seen. He's never lost her before. She's always just been there. He begins to whimper and makes a sound like Woo. He moves around in circles under the tree calling for her. He hears a soft grunt from the trees nearby. He cannot see her, but he knows that she is here. He becomes quiet and moves towards the sound. There it is again. He's getting closer. Then she is there, kissing the top of his head and scratching his back. The world is not a scary place as long as she is there. All right, guys. So for your writing prompt, I want you to imagine you are one of the animals in this story. You might be the mother or one of the young chimps. Imagine that you are that animal and retell that story the way that it happened to you. I hope that you guys have a lot of fun with this. Um, I can't wait to maybe see some of the pictures of your writings or when we get back to school, if you want to bring them in and show me, um, I'd be super stoked and I cannot wait to see your beautiful writings. Thank you guys again for joining me, Miss Canada, for this writing prompt lesson over an African animal, the chimpanzee. Bye.